Morning, y'all. Rick Fearless, Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, and Fearless Services. Good morning. Today is, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's December 31st, 2023, year of our Lord. New Year's Eve. So, if my math is right, and it is, today's a big day. In my life, the 365 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to January the 1st, 2023. On January 1st, 2023, I started doing, in my life, the 365 Project. Today, December 31st, 2023, the 365 Project is completed. This is the last video of the year and the completion of the 365. When I started the 365 project, after a month or two months, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm never going to make it. But I got into a groove and I did make it. So a lot of you are wondering if I'm going to continue to do the 365 project and the answer is yes only it will be a 366 project because 2024 is leap year I stayed up late last night watching that cowboy game Cowboys won it is exciting. I'm usually in bed by 7 38 o'clock. I went to bed at 11 30, got up at 1 30. It's now 2 45. Once I finish this video, I'm going to do a little paperwork and then I'm going to lay down on my little day bed in my office and try to catch a couple hours sleep because we're going to have a big day today. But the, the, the whole In My Life 365 Project, Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine, has been extremely hard and extremely rewarding for me. I hope it has for you. You know, we, we, we kind of winging this as we go. And when I say we, I mean me, because I'm doing it by myself. But, uh, you know, I'm that guy that once I start doing something, I've got to continue. I used to think in about March and April and May and August, I would think, oh my God, if I can get through this 365, I'm done. Well, I'm through it and I ain't done. I may be used. But I'm not used up. So we're going to keep going. We're going to do 366 this year. Let's check that chuck. Check that chuck, you big old... Woo! Hey, I recognize you! Look at these. So these are some black and silver sequins checkerboard. Black medallion. White toe, white sole, double black racing stripes, two vent holes, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. So I've been saving these shoes for today for a special occasion, and you are the special occasion. So I'm going to wear these tonight. My wife and I have a New Year's Eve tradition. We go out to eat to Papa's Brothers Steakhouse. And we're going there tonight, and I'll be wearing these shoes. The reason I'm going to wear these shoes is because these are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. Saving them.
slang till the cows come home. Once I start doing something, I'll do it till the cows come home. That means a long time, or it could mean forever. Did y'all ever say that? We ain't gonna be back when the cows come home. My dad used to say that a lot. Dad joke, what do snowmen do on New Year's Eve? They chill out. You could also put smart men on there too. New Year's Eve is not a time to get out and get rambunctious and drinking and driving. There's no time you should drink and drive, but New Year's Eve would be a, a terrible deal if you're going to go out and drink, which is wonderful. Don't drive. Like my wife always says, Uber is your friend. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. In the new year, I'll be too busy watering my own grass to see if yours is greener or not. What does that mean, Rick Perilous? That means pay attention to yourself, pay attention to your own life, and don't worry about others. If, if you think the grass is greener on the other side of the, the fence, that guy's probably thinking your grass is greener. Mind your own grass. Mind your own life. And be happy. Make yourself happy. And life will be much better. You know, I'm going to leave you with this. In Columbia... People that, you know, want, like, more travel in the new year, they walk around the block with empty suitcases. I'm going to walk around the block with no suitcases because I don't want to travel. I'm not a traveler. I do travel, but I'm not big on travel. Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Who's going to be the last person to buy something from me in 2023? Who will be the first person to buy something from me in 2024? So 2024 is tomorrow, which is Monday. Uh, we have our 16th, I think, annual chili cook-off, which is a blast. We get a lot of people here, a lot of chili going. A lot of music, a lot of laughs. I made some real cool trophies. And, uh, you know, even if you don't cook chili, you don't eat chili, you should come out and enjoy the mirth making. Enjoy the good time. So, as I embark on, in my life, the 366 Project, season number two, You know, this show evolves. When I first started this show a year ago, I was writing, I was writing it. So I was writing a, a show reflecting on things that have happened and that kind of thing. And so after a couple of weeks or a month, I ran out of time and I didn't have time to write an article. So I did a video and I thought, oh, I hope nobody gets mad at me for doing this video. Y'all love the video better. So, I quit doing the writing and started doing the video. And now that 365 is complete, uh, I've got a pretty good idea of what y'all like. So, I'm going to keep doing it. If you have suggestions for me, rick at strokersdallas.com is my email. Nobody reads my emails but me. Send me some ideas or things that you think, but, you know, I, I think I'm going to keep the same format, and I may uh, alter it a little bit as we go, but I'm going to go into this new year, and I want you to go with me. We're going to make it work. Till the cows come home. Love you. Bye.